Hello, Seawolf here. RPG at A is more or less over, at least for 2017, and I've got 2018 about a whole year away to do the next ones. So I question myself whether I'm going to just do those or do something else with this YouTube channel. Do I have anything to contribute that's worth anything? I don't know. I could talk about a lot of things. I could talk about my RPGs and all my experiences and or I can talk about running games at a convention whether it be a tabletop gaming convention or a science fiction convention which is something I do quite a bit of. So I might do both of those in YouTube and talk about various topics in, in relation to that. I recently was asked for advice on how to run gaming at a convention. This one was a Comic-Con and I put together a short checklist or outline of the things I do to nail down and organize tabletop gaming for just about any kind of convention or event. Sure, you could just leave it as open games, lay out the tables, and hope people play. But without organized playing, there is no guarantee you're going to use that space given to you. I realize that there are a lot of board gamers out there that would just say, why not just have open space and hope people show up? Well, when you're dealing with events that spend money on space, you can't just have space open and hope people show up. Some people want to know that there's games being played beforehand. And the only way to show that is through a schedule of some kind. And that schedule is more structured than I hope people show up. That's what I'm gearing it towards is to get people, show people how to get people into your space and playing games. Now, not guaranteed because every community is different. My system works for a community that is pretty lively. Uh, if you go to a town that doesn't have a gaming community or a gaming store to speak of, well, you, you can't establish a foundation and then you will have no means of, of starting anything in the, in the way of gaming. That's the kind of thing I want to talk about. I also want to talk about my, my games and the things that I've been doing. I'm involved in Fantasy Age Titan's Grave, finishing that up hopefully by the end of the year. And then I'm also involved in writing one shots. I've gotten into the habit of using Google Docs and just really laying out the plot line and the structured encounters for convention RPG games and trying to keep them down to a four hour slot and just developing like, for instance, developing trilogies of adventures to get people to come back. I, I've done it now once with Reichstar, and I'm doing it again with my resurrection or rebirth of Shatter Zone. So I'm having fun with developing plots. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm, I'm currently stuck in a dilemma, and that's a whole other subject that I'd love to get input on from anybody that wants to comment. Additionally, I'm crafting. I'm currently crafting... Uh, for my home game of Titan's Grave, just crafted a large fort, and next I'm crafting an airship that I hope to post and show off. I'm not saying I'm the greatest crafter. There are some people that are so much more fine and clean with their cuts and their pasting and their, and their hot gluing and all that. Me, I, I, I make it work. Uh, I, I, I make it table ready. I'm going to show off some of my crafts at Mace with my Reichstar game and maybe, maybe in the Shatter Zone game. I'm not so sure. I still have to play test that. I, and if there are crafts, I, I have to finish those. And the, and the only time I can do these videos is when I'm driving from or to work. So whatever I show off 
will be taking pictures and I will overlay them in the video. So this will be Seawolf's Den YouTube channel. I hope it is at least somewhat interesting. So until next time, seek the wolf in thyself.